back to business over. So it's back to normality over in Germany as Bayern München top the Bundesliga once again. Can they hold on tight to make it another title? We'll take a little look next. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we're looking at match day number whatever. What, what, what match day are we at? We are match day number 21, boys and girls. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Bundesliga related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We're going to know here. Underwater Ski, boys and girls. That's right. Yes. Back to business. Back to normality as Bayern. Uh, take, take advantage of Leipzig's little bit of a slip up. An opportunity also for Munchen Gladbach. Um, uh, we'll talk all about all the all the all the. It's been it's explosive. You know what I mean. It's been it, you know. Look at Dortmund now. They are clicking into top gear. Haaland has just added that X factor up top, scoring goals galore. We talked about it last week. He scored seven goals in three games. Seven goals in three games as Haaland. Uh, one more goal and he's in the top ten and he's played four games. Four games, boys and girls. That's right. He's going to be rifling up that top table, and he'll be competing with the likes of his of his teammates already. Uh, Royce has got tw eleven goals. Sancho's got twelve. He's going to be up there. Give him, give him two or three games, and he's up there, and he's going to be chasing the pack down, hunting for that top goals. What a flipping player! What a talent! And uh, Dortmund are very, very lucky to have him. Obviously, will he? I don't think he'll get to play in the Champions League. Uh, but anyway, well, that's another matter. We'll talk about that another day. Let's get going, folks, and take a little look. How we all got on last time out um, out in the Bundesliga. Let's hop on over. That's what we're talking about, the Bundesliga. So this is the criteria. I'm going to judge you and I. Not to 3 you're in the shit face gang. 4 to 5 you're in the straight face club. 6 plus, you're in the top banana, boys. And I think there's one or two of you out there. Um, let's see how I got on first, though. Hertha Berlin. Klinsman's team uh, duked out to a nil-nil draw up against Wagner's boys uh, in the end. I uh, went with a 1-1 draw, so not too shabby on that one. Uh, Bayern did beat uh, Mainz 3-1. I went with a 3-1. Bang on the flipping nose, boys. Bang on the flipping nose. Called it, called it, called it. Hoffenheim did beat uh, Leverkusen 2-1. Just the one goal shy, uh, but ultimately wrong. Uh, Dusseldorf uh, picked up a good point against Eintracht Frankfurt 1-1. Um, I went with a 1-0 win, though, for Dusseldorf. Uh, so a little bit uh, slip up there. Augsburg did beat Bremen. Called it, folks. Bang on the flipping nose. I called it. Uh, Dortmund did beat Union Berlin 5 0. Uh, 4 1 for me. I did see a few goals in it. Uh, my boys, Munchen Gladbach, drew away to Leipzig. That's a strong point in the end. 2 2. Um, I saw the four goals, but I didn't see him going that way. Uh, 3 1 for Leipzig, so I got that one wrong. Uh, Köln did beat Freiburg 4 0. The wheels have come off, boys. Freiburg are in free fall. Uh, I won with a 1 1 draw. And Paderborn did lose to Wolfsburg, 4 2 in the end. So that makes me 5. I'm in the straight face gang. I'm in the straight face gang, editor. Editor Dirk, sort that out. I'm in the straight face gang. So that's wrong. That's wrong. If you see the top banana, that's wrong. I got 5. Which is wrong. Uh, so, but how about you guys? How did you guys get on? Christian04 did okay for himself. Julian Nordfeld did absolutely terrible. Okay, though. Did okay. Cody Gaho, not too shabby. We are QPR. Top banana. Well done, son. Well done. So, where are we? Cody Gaho, uh, we are QPR. Not too shabby. Abel Bjorkman uh, did absolutely terrible. No code drinker. Did okay for himself. Annika Koch did okay for himself. Newton Abbey did okay for himself. Miles A, also not too bad. Ultra Omen Muir did absolutely stonking. And Imagine Monday, you did okay for yourself as well. So, overall, uh, you know, most people, just like me, did okay for themselves. Uh, a couple of guys need to up their game next week. Uh, in fact, there's a few more of you here. Completely forgot about you guys. Joe Turner did okay for himself. Ahmed, uh, we'll take a look at you in a minute. But Nathan Heaver, round of applause for you, sunshine. Top banana. Uh, Ahmed29 did uh, terrible Johnny talks Bundesliga He does talk Bundesliga Straight face gang for him Yannick Buster Top banana as well A couple of you guys uh, Ousting the rest of us uh, Today So let's take a look at what the table looks like Out at the moment In the Bundesliga Bayern lead the way 42 points on the board Leipzig are in second One point adrift Dortmund are a win away from going top as well As are Mönchengladbach It is very very tight uh, Five point gap between fourth and fifth Leverkusen and Schalke Are in the Europa League spots Down the bottom is Paderborn Four two Dusseldorf And Werder Bremen uh, Duking out in the old relegation zone But let's take a look at what's going on this weekend Shall we uh, We're going to kick it all off With Frankfurt Up against uh, Augsburg All eyes on them on Friday night so the last six, though, between the two sides, uh, two wins for Frankfurt, uh, four wins for uh, for Augsburg heading into this. Uh, they played in Augsburg early in the season, right about September time, as a 2-1 win 
for Augsburg. And the last time they played in uh, Frankfurt was a 3-1 win for Augsburg as well. So back-to-back -back wins heading into this. Um, in that 3-1 game, uh, it was two goals from Marco Richter and, and the third goal, uh, Michael Gregatisch, uh, getting uh, the three points for Augsburg. Uh, Frankfurt's one and only goal coming from Giancarlo Palencia uh, with Gelson Fernandez sent off in that match. Uh, heading into this, uh, Augsburg actually can see at least two goals in the last three away matches. So uh, not looking too good for them. Away from home. Uh, heading into this, though, they're both sides in the middle of the table. Axbury are one, one point better off and one position better off. 26 points on the board. Frankfurt are in 11th. 24 points. Uh, 25 points on the board. Um, however, um, looking into this, the last three games, Eintracht Frankfurt are actually unbeaten. Two wins and a draw, whereas Augsburg have only won once uh, heading into this. And actually, three defeats out of the past four. So, not great for, for Augsburg heading into this. The bookmakers' odds, uh, they go on this one. Hang on a second. What are they doing to me? Bookmakers odds on this one, 3-4 to four on for Frankfurt, 11-4 is the draw, 7-2 is the away win. A win for either side, could see them rise, just the one spot above Wolfsburg into ninth spot. Uh, it's a tough one, I'm going to go with Frankfurt though on this one, uh, the home form, or just the, the home situation, and of course all eyes will be on them on Friday, so I'm just going to give it to Frankfurt to take home the three points. Next up we have the early season surprise package, that was uh, Freiburg up against Hoffenheim heading into this, the last six though between the two sides. I've uh, seen two wins for Freiburg, two wins for Hoffenheim, two draws along the way. They played over in Hoffenheim earlier in the season. That's when Freiburg were on fire. It was a 3-0 win for the uh, then visitors, now host. Niels Peterson, uh, Yannick Habener and Christopher Christian Guntner on the score sheet for Freiburg. The last time they played in Freiburg was a 4-2 win last season uh, with Florian Niederlenschner and Lucas Holler on the score sheet for Freiburg. Hoffenheim scoring with Joel Eton, Andrea Kadamach uh, with a brace and Karim Derembi uh, getting the goals for Hoffenheim. Heading into this Hoffenheim actually won five of the last six away matches, so the waveform is what's keeping them into contention uh, at the moment in the table. Bookmakers, we'll get to that in a second. Hoffenheim are in seventh at the moment, a win away from going into fifth, uh, whereas Freiburg, uh, they're in eighth spot at the moment, uh, a win away from just securing eighth spot. Uh, heading into this, Freiburg just one win of the past six. Hoffenheim, um, four wins at the past five, and the two sides are kind of seventh and eighth uh, at the moment in the table, so two sides uh, neck and neck at the moment. Uh, heading into this. I'm going to go with a cheeky. I'll tell you what. Oh, well, let's get to the bookies first, folks. Bookies first. 31 to 20 for Freiburg. 12 to 5 is the draw. 13 to 8 is the away win for Hoffenheim. I'm going to go with Hoffenheim to take it 3-1 in the end. And that will give themselves probably a breakaway opportunity to get, get clear of 8th uh, place and beyond. Um, and maybe even get themselves into the conversation for Europe. A win for them, actually. Hoffenheim could see them go into fifth, and that is Europa League spots. Uh, next up, we have Wolfsburg up against Freiburg. Wolfsburg need... Uh, well, they're doing okay at the moment. Uh, up against uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf, who need the points. Uh, Dusseldorf down in 17th spot, 16 points on the board. One win in the past six, though, for Dusseldorf heading into this. Wolfsburg in ninth. Two wins in the past six as well. Uh, they did win last time out, but before that was three defeats on the spin. Uh, for Wolfsburg. Uh, the last six up between two sides, uh, three wins for Wolfsburg, zero wins for uh, for Dusseldorf and two draws along the way. Um, they did play in Dusseldorf early in the season. It was a 1-1 draw. And the last time they played in Wolfsburg was last season. was a 5-2 win uh, with goals from uh, Admir Mahamedi, Wolf, uh, Walt Workhorst, Robin Knocci. Uh, Workhorst actually got himself a hat-trick on that occasion. Uh, the goals for Dusseldorf, Can, Ayan and Benito Raman. Uh, scoring for Dusseldorf. Uh, Dusseldorf actually conceded three goals in the last three away matches. They've also scored, a score in those last three away matches as well. So they've been beaten quite convincingly away from home. And I can see that, that being the same uh, situation here. A win for Wolfsburg uh, could see them rise from ninth to eighth. Uh, a win for Dusseldorf in a uh, 17th spot could see them rise at the drop zone into 15th spot. Bookmakers, they'll go with uh, probably Wolfsburg on this one for 7 4 on uh, for the victory. 3-1 is the draw, 92 is the away win. And I'm also going to go with Wolfsburg to take the win 2-0. Uh, and again, that should uh, do them uh, all the all the pleasure and of course all kind of chaos for Dusseldorf as they try to stay in the division for another year. Uh, next up we have Hertha Berlin, Klinsmann's team. Up against FC, uh, FS V Mainz, 04, Fumpf even. <laughs> German, rusty, and then you go back to school. Uh, the last six between two sides, one win for Berlin, four wins for Mainz, one draw along the way. They did play in Mainz earlier in the season. It was a 2-1 win for Mainz. Goals coming from Robin Quaison and Jeremiah sent just a uh, Marco Grucic getting the only one only goal for Berlin. Uh, the last time they played in Berlin was 2-1 the other way. Grucic on the score sheet once again for Berlin and Nicholas Stark as well. He actually scored on both ends. Uh, big fat OG on this match. Also around about the same time, 3rd of Feb. Uh, last season. Mainz have actually lost six of the last seven matches in the 
Bundesliga, both home and away. And Hertha Berlin, have, though, on the flip side, have actually failed to score in three in the last three home matches. So they they might be kind of keep it airtight at the back, but they need to score some goals if they're going to try and far up the, the, the table at the moment. They're doing okay at the moment, 13th at the table, a win away from going at 10th, uh, whereas their visitors might come into this 15th spot, just one spot above that illustrious or um, uh, dubious um, relegation playoff spot. Um, but they've got a little bit of a, a lead over 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 Dusseldorf, a couple of points anyway, but a win for Mainz uh, could see them get themselves uh, into a much more comfortable situation. Um, uh, they can't right, really rise from 15th this weekend. Bookmakers, odds on this one, they go with... Uh, 90 to 20 on for her for Berlin. 52 is the draw. 11 to 4 is the away win. I'm sticking with Klinsmann's boys with a 2 1 win. Uh, they'll find the goals, they'll find the points, and they'll start rising that table. Uh, next up, we have Werder Bremen. No, we don't. We have Schalke. Nulfia against the bottom club, Paderborn. The last five meetings between two sides. Five wins out of five for Schalke. Um, Nothing for uh, Paderborn. Let's take a look at the last few occasions they played in Schalke. Just the one. It was a, it was a 1 0 win. Back in 2015. If you want to take a look at the, the last time they met was earlier in the season. It was a 5-1 win for Schalke at Paderborn. Goals from Saf Sane, Schwat Serda, Annie Harat with a brace. And Ahmed Kirk too uh, with Schalke's other goal. Kali Oliveira Souza get the one and only goal for Paderborn. Uh, Schalke are actually defeating their, their last nine home matches. So it's going to be a tall order for Paderborn to, to come in here and take them anything uh, other than a big fat W. However, their form is okay. Two wins in the past four heading into this. And, uh, and um, you know, they're on, they're on the rise-ish. They need to get a win, though. They need a win, and I don't see it coming in this time out. I think their home form is what's going to be crucial to their survival, and a win could see them rise up up, up and about the, uh, the relegation zones and push Mainz, Murder, Bremen, Fort, sort of beneath them. That's what could happen this weekend. A win for Schalke, though, in six, could see them rise one spot to fifth and then get themselves back into contention for a Champions League spot next year. Bookmakers odds on this bad boy. They go with uh, 8-15 to on for Schalke. 3-1 to one is the draw. 11-2 to is the away win. So Schalke's to lose, methinks. And I'm going to go with a 3-0 win for Schalke to take the three points. Uh, next up, we have Werder Bremen up against Union Berlin. Uh, Union Berlin, the surprise package for me this season. Uh, last uh, three, though, between two sides. Two wins for Werder Bremen, zero wins for Berlin, and one draw along the way. They played in Berlin earlier in the season. It was a 2-1 win for Werder Bremen, uh, with the goals coming from... Who scored sunshine? It was Davy Klassen from the penalty spot. Nicholas Funkrung, uh, also for Werder Bremen. Sebastian Anderson, also from the penalty spot for Union Berlin. Two red cards on this one. Sobotnich uh, for Union Berlin and Nuri Sarin. Uh, get himself sent off for Werder Bremen. Last time they played in Berlin was a 2-2 draw. Sorry, last time they played in... In fact, have they ever played in in uh, in Bremen? I don't think they have. Well, it, it's going to go back a long, long time. So, uh, no. Uh, Werder Bremen actually lost their last four home matches in the Bundesliga. They are struggling. They've also failed to score in the last three home matches as well. So, if there's any a chance for Union Berlin to pick up a victory against Werder Bremen, the, the time is now. Uh, they come into this 12th in the table. Just one win in the past five, though. Um, so, their form is not good. Uh, Werder Bremen also one win in the past six. So it is very, very... It smells like a draw, if I'm honest with you. 21 to 20 for uh, Werder Bremen. 5 to 2 is the draw. 12 to 5 is the away win. Smells like a draw, and I'm going with a draw. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. That would be a big point for Union Berlin. A worrying point for Werder Bremen, as they are not out of the old relegation discussion just yet. They are in that playoff spot. And a win for either Dusseldorf or Padawan could see them go in officially to those relegation spots. Next up, we have Leverkusen against Dortmund. Probably the game of the weekend right here. In fact, there's a couple game of the weekends here. Um, in fact, the next... Three a game games of the weekends. I'll tell you why for for obvious reasons in a second. Obviously, uh, Leverkusen got uh, they're quite a decent looking side as well heading into this. They're in fifth spot up against Dortmund, who are in uh, third spot. But they're on the rise. Three wins out of spin for Dortmund. Leverkusen on the flip side. One defeat in the past four uh, before last week's defeat. Uh, who did they lose to? Uh, I guess Hoffenheim. They won three on the spin. So it's going to be a tough old game, this one. Uh, but the last six encounters between two sides. Zero wins for Leverkusen. Five wins for Dortmund. One draw along the way. They did play in Dortmund earlier in the season. It was a 4 0 win. With Pabco Alcazar, who's now along with the club, uh, scoring a Marco Race with a brace, a Rafael Guerrero as well on the score sheet. Last time they played in Leverkusen was a 4 2 win uh, for Dortmund as well. Alcazar with a brace, Royce as well, and Jakob Brun Larsen on the score sheet for Dortmund. Michel Weissner and Jonathan Ta, the scorers for Leverkusen. The last six uh, in Leverkusen, you've got to go back to 2016 for Leverkusen's last win. It was a 2 0 win over, over, uh, over Dortmund on this occasion. Let me back it up a second here. I've, I've gone into weird territory. Um, Dortmund actually won the last three uh, league matches. Um, 
both home and away, and actually scored at least four goals in the last three matches as well. So they're finding the back of the net quite easily these days, especially with the young Haaland up tops. Uh, a win for Leverkusen could see them close the door to potentially getting into the Champions League spots. Uh, it would get them uh, to 37 points, two points adrift of fourth as it stands. A win for Dortmund could see them go top of the table, folks. Top of the table. Bookmakers odds on this one. They go uh, with uh, 9 to 4 for Leverkusen. 11 to 4 is the draw. 21 to 20 uh, is Dortmund. Uh, it's tough. I'm going goals below. Go on this one. Six goal barnstormer. 4 2 win for Dortmund. Take on the three points. And again, potentially go top of the table. Uh, next up, we're into Sunday's games. We have Munchuk Gladbach up against Köln. This is a bit of a local affair uh, right here. I'll see uh, bitter rivals. Last six between two sides. Four wins for Gladbach. Two wins for Köln. Zero draws along the way. They played in Köln earlier in the season. It was a 1 0 win for Munchuk Gladbach. Alassane plea with the one and only goal. The last time they played in Köln was back in 2018. It was a 2-1 win for Köln. Sorensen and Thorode uh, on the score sheet for Köln. Raphael, the one and only goal scorer for Munchen Gladbach uh, heading into this. Uh, Munchen Gladbach has scored uh, at least two goals in the last eight home matches. So they've found themselves quite decent at home. They've also won the last eight home matches as well. Heading into this. A uh, win for Köln in 14th spot. Could see them go as high as 10th. A win for Munchen Gladbach in 4th. Could see them go top of the table, boys. But they'll need a massive gold swing if they're going to do that. Bookmakers odds on this one. Uh, 8 to 13 on for Munchen Gladbach. 3 to 1 is the draw. 4 to 1 is the away win. I'm going to go with Munchen Gladbach as well with a 3 0 Barnstormer in this local rivalry to take the 3 points and the win and potentially chase them down that top spot. And uh, finally, we do have the game of the weekend. It is the game of this. First up against second uh, over in uh, Bavaria. That's right, the mountainous region of Germany. Uh, Bayern against Leverkusen. Last six between two sides. Three wins for Bayern. One win for Leipzig. Two draws along the way. They, they did draw in Leipzig earlier in the season. It was a 1 1 draw. Lewandowski uh, for Bayern. Bayern and Forsberg from the penalty spot for Leipzig. Um, in fact, you're going to go back to 2018 in Bayern uh, for, for uh, Munchen's last victory. It was a 1 0 win. Uh, Frank Ribery on the score sheet uh, on that occasion. Stefan Isankne get himself sent off for Leipzig uh, in the stoppage time, as did Renato Sanchez. Um, the last six in, the uh, uh, last three actually in Bayern have all resulted in a win for the leaders, the current leaders. Uh, Bayern have actually won 18 of the last 21 home matches in the Bundesliga and have scored at least three goals in five of the last six matches in the Bundesliga. Uh, bookmakers odds on this, very, very tricky one. Two to five on for Bayern and 92 is the draw. Five to one is the away win. So they're heavily backed by the bookmakers odds on this one. I'm going to go with it as well with a 4-2 win for Bayern to extend their lead. I'm all over the place. Alice Uber the Platz, as they say over in Germany. Now let's just say my results come on in and I think there's a good chance I could get top banana this week this is what the table would look like uh, out in the Bundesliga Bayern would lead the way three points clear of Dortmund then it's Munchen Gladbach in third spot Leipzig will be in fourth Schalke and Hoffenheim will be in the Europa League spot Stand about will be Paderborn Dusseldorf and Werder Bremen going well Werder Bremen won't be going down but the fourth of Dusseldorf and Paderborn going down Werder Bremen in that illustrious or dubious uh, playoff spot folks that's my predictions get your own predictions in nice and early down below in your comment section I'll take a little look at them next weekend before you go make sure you check out the description as well well of the video links to my other social media platforms twitter facebook and of course uh patreon boys and girls if you want to look at uh, uh support the channel in another way besides your viewership that's the way to go so check that sucker out uh patreon.com forward slash roversees if you want to just type it in there also i want to mention that i'm going to be doing a prediction league next season from day one match day number one uh, across the divisions we're talking about the bundesliga uh la liga Serie A, championship premier league that each league will have their own prediction league um, and we're going to try and do um, an average. Uh, so everyone, whoever predicts in, in, the, in the comments and, and gets their name on the, on the start of the show, we're going to have an average for everybody. And at the end of the season, we'll see who is the p prediction king um, for each division. Yeah. So that looks like something to, to do. I did mention it earlier in the season, but I'm just refreshing you to, to make sure you come back next season uh, and bring bring your A game, folks. Next season is, is where it's all about. Anyway, folks, get predictions in nice and early. Make sure you bang that thumbs up as well, please. If, you ju if you're just here for the first time, bang the thumbs up and also bang the subscribe. But also, if you're here as a regular, bang that thumbs up, folks. It does wonders for the old algorithm um, and, uh, and it makes me feel good and, and appreciative of my work as well. Anyway, until I see you all again, I'm out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.